Like and subscribe right now, or you're going to have terrible luck for the next week. Speed plays a significant role in the survival of animals out there in the wild. It's what determines who will live between prey and predator, and it varies widely from one species to another. In this video, we've pulled the top 10 fastest ones in the air, water, and on land. Number 10. Blue Wildebeest Blue wildebeests are endemic to sub-Saharan Africa, particularly in Kenya, South Africa, Zambia, and so on. They're known to hang out and move around in herds that comprise of both males and females with calves of up to eight months. Any young blue wildebeest that is older than eight months usually leaves the mother to join its peers in a juvenile herd. These wildebeests are known to be migratory, timing their movement with the annual rainfall pattern. The migration between the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania and Mazi Mara National Reserve in Kenya is particularly popular and has even been deemed as one of the seven new wonders of the world. But this migration isn't without issues for the wildebeest. Usually, they're followed by more than enough predators like lions, hyenas, and cheetahs. To survive, the wildebeest are always on high alert and are ready to take off at the slightest nudge. Their top speed of about 80 kilometers per hour has ensured that their numbers thrive in the face of so many predators. Interestingly, they have the same speed as lions. Number nine, black marlin. This is the first species of a marine animal in this video, frequenting from tropical and subtropical areas of the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. It's among the biggest fish in the world, with the females being generally larger than males. The largest recorded black marlin so far had a length of about 4.6 meters and weighed in at about 750 kilograms. They're rare beasts since they stay out far in the sea, although they move around a lot following warm ocean currents. Despite their large sizes, they're quite agile, moving with impressive speeds of up to 130 kilometers per hour, which is among the highest among marine life. This speed combined with their pointed upper jaw is used to stun small fish shoals, which the black marlin comes back later to eat. So far, the only known predator for this fish is humans and is highly regarded among sport fishers. In Japan, the meat is served raw as sashimi. Number eight, swordfish. The second marine fast mover in this video is the swordfish, found mostly in tropical and temperate parts of the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic oceans. They don't have a particular preference for depth since they occur from anywhere near the surface to as far as 550 meters down. On average, a swordfish has a speed of about 100 kilometers per hour, which places it among the top three fastest fish. Unique about the swordfish is their extended upper jaw, which forms a sword-like protrusion that earned them their name. When it comes to feeding, the swordfish unleashes terror using the extended jaw. Just like your regular sword, the protrusion is used to slash at prey to injure them just enough so the fish can pick them up more easily. Here, the swordfish's speed is just as important. In the absence of prey, the sword is the perfect defense against predators like sharks. The constant slashing perfectly serves to deter the sharks and other predators. Number seven, pronghorn. Pronghorns closely resemble antelopes, which has led them to being referred to as such in North America, where they're indigenous. But the truth is, the two are different and the physical similarities are largely due to parallel evolution over the years. In the natural habitat, Pronghorns hang out in herds made up of female and male members, especially in winter. Come spring, they break up with the females remaining together while the adult males venture out solo. Younger males also stick together after this dispersal. Despite staying together, these younger males tend to be at a disadvantage compared to their adult counterparts. Solo male pronghorns are pretty territorial and will ensure they rid their turfs of any would-be intruder. That said, it's usually the females that ultimately determine the mating rights. For instance, they've been known to move from one male to another in search of a Mr. Right, and sometimes they just watch from the sidelines as the males battle it out before settling with the winner. Pronghorns are the second fastest animals on land, with the highest known speed being 88 kilometers per hour. Number six, sailfish. The sailfish comes in second among the fastest marine animals, swimming at speeds of up to 110 kilometers per hour at full flight. Like the swordfish and black marlin, it has an extended upper jaw that forms a spear-like protrusion used to attack prey. To reduce the sideways movement of the head, sailfish have a sail, hence their name, that is usually hoisted during an attack. 
the attacks are on schools of fish, which increases the likelihood of one being captured, since the spear injures at most two fish at a go. Small teeth on the upper elongated jaw are enough to incapacitate targeted prey. Though not popular among diners, sailfish are mainly hunted for sport, as they are highly regarded. Number 5. Brazilian Free-Tailed Bat Also known as the Mexican Free-Tailed Bat, this mammal is endemic to, and most abundant, in North and South America. They have a tendency to breed in large numbers, but their preference for staying in a few locations leaves them vulnerable where their habitat to be destroyed. They have a tendency to breed in large numbers, but their preference for staying in a few locations leaves them vulnerable were their habitat to be destroyed. They're not usually sedentary, though. Some are known to migrate with seasons, just like birds, except for a few ones that inhabit parts of North America. And as with typical bats, echolocation is an important part of their lives in pinpointing the location of prey and maneuvering around obstacles. Now to the speed aspect. These bats have the highest horizontal speed ever reached by an animal beating all the fastest birds. In an experiment, one Brazilian free-tailed bat reached a speed of 160 kilometers per hour, which is way higher than that of the gray-headed albatross, the fastest bird in horizontal flight. Number four, needle-tailed swift. The needle-tailed swift has a diverse range in Asia, Siberia, Australia, and the subcontinent. They breed in Central Asia and Southern Siberia and do their wintering in parts of Australia, Southern Asia, and the subcontinent. They've also been observed outside these regions in countries like Sweden, Great Britain, and Norway. This migration might have played a role in them developing some of the fastest speeds in the animal kingdom, although long distance travel is usually more about endurance than going fast. On average, needle-tailed swifts clock in at speeds of about 170 kilometers per hour, which is the fastest horizontal flying speed of any bird. This remains largely contested though. Whoever arrived at that speed didn't publish their methodologies, but it has been widely accepted since swifts tend to be fast in general. In the future, we hope that someone will give a precise needle-tailed swift speed to put this whole matter to rest. Number three, gray-headed albatross. The gray-headed albatross deserves a mention in this video since it holds the Guinness World Record for the fastest bird in horizontal flight. And that's for clocking at a speed of 127 kilometers per hour, which, as you can see, is way less than that of the needle-tailed swift. That's because, unlike the needle-tailed swift, the gray-headed albatross speed has a well-documented determination methodology. A 2004 report by French and British researchers focused on a tagged gray-headed albatross, with a wingspan of a little over two meters in Antarctica. The study itself took place on March 15, 2003. The bird flew at the speed for the entire eight hours that it was under observation. At that speed, it's estimated that these birds can pretty much circumnavigate the Earth in about one month tops, but they obviously aren't interested. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number two, cheetah. This wouldn't be much of a surprise since a cheetah is pretty admired with just how fast it can move its nimble body. Among land animals, it's actually the fastest, clocking speeds of between 80 to 128 kilometers per hour. Most cheetahs can attain speeds of over 96 kilometers in as little as three seconds. But sustaining this incredibly high value is usually a problem, as most of them have low endurance. This means they can only run for so long. That's why ambushing is a significant part of a cheetah's hunting paraphernalia. They limit the distance between them and the prey to about 200 meters maximum and use their speed to grab it as soon as possible before delivering the throat bite characteristic with big cats. Additionally, they have large nasal passages that facilitate rapid oxygen intake during running. This is why a cheetah can increase the respiratory rate from 60 to as much as 150 breaths when trying to catch some food. These, among other features, will see this cat remain a top speed contender in the animal kingdom for quite some time. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number one, Peregrine Falcon. 
the last animal in our video is, ironically, the fastest on the planet. But before that, a few facts about this magnificent bird will do. This bird species is found in a majority of continents, but has different subspecies. Here, the birds prefer to stay mostly along the coast, in mountain ranges and river valleys. Being a bird of prey, the peregrine falcon has some of the most robust hunting adaptations in the animal kingdom. And speed is the center of it all. Among all the tested animals, it has the fastest visual processing speed, which is definitely important in relation to its overall speed. During a hunting stoop, an average falcon can reach a speed of up to 320 kilometers per hour, which is the highest to ever be achieved by an animal. The National Geographic measured the fastest peregrine falcon at a speed of 389 kilometers per hour during a stoop. A hunting stoop refers to a technique in which the bird soars to a great height before descending steeply towards prey. This is the only time that these falcons are that fast. Flying horizontally, most of their speeds range between 65 and 96 kilometers per hour. The hunting stoop speed means the peregrine falcon is the fastest bird, fastest aerial animal, the fastest animal in fight, and the fastest animal overall. That's a lot of medals, don't you think?